Hello, friend. Welcome to Android Chess, written in Kotlin program language. In this video, let's try to create a move piece function or method to make a move, and we'll implement that in our model class, Chess model. Okay. So, um, let's get started. So, create a function move piece from column from row and to column and to row right makes sense so okay i forgot the type So how to make a move? We need to find out the piece first, right? For yeah, based on this starting point. And then we'll relocate it to the destination. Okay? So var moving piece equals piece at, right? So this is from colon from row. Remember, this guy returns a nullable because this place can be empty. So let's use our cool syntax of a Kotlin like that. If it's nil, if it's null, we simply return. Otherwise, we can update its column to the two column and uh, its row to the destination row. Okay, now, what does it complain? Value cannot be reassigned, change to var. So here, because we defined it as var. Okay, now let's change it using the auto fix here. Change to var. And this guy saying, Okay, we need wait for a few seconds. Now let's see what happened here. Va va value. Okay, rank value. So this guy may be changed to va when we are promo uh, implementing promotion of the chess, but not now. Okay, let's give it a try. How can we test it? How can we test it? Easy. We only needed to put the code, testing code here. Right? To do. So, let's make a move. Move a piece from. Let's move this guy, okay? This. The, the bottom left pawn from here to here. So 0, 1 to 0, 0, 1 to 0, 3. Okay. 0, 1 to 0, 3. Run it. It works. Now, what if we do capture, right? What if we move this guy to, for example, here, um, or here, let's say this is one, seven. Let's give it a try. One, seven. Oh, um, is it under this piece? Um, one seven. Mm. Let's try. Um, Let's try a different piece, okay? 
zero zero maybe this guy is bigger so if it's under that guy we can see it yes um okay so now we need to let's move again right so let's move out move out this guy from one seven now to one let's put it in the middle one like four two moves yeah the night is still there right the night is still there and uh, oh actually we can test that um, yeah we can print out the board right why not log dot d i think this is the better way um tag and uh, our cell so it's this okay dot to string do we need this we can remove that right yeah now let's bring up our lock cat and uh, delete that clean up that and uh, mm -hmm. oh based on our information actually if we move yeah that's coming out this one i think we cannot see the uh what we need here on the console yeah even though we print out the we printed out the the r the rook here actually we know the black knight uh is still there we have to remove it so um now the code we need to add is we need to check right um piece at destination okay we need to do this check mm. yeah before we make the move otherwise uh, our new piece is already there yeah we have we have to do it here two row right um, if this one dot let okay now it's time to use the the it thing so if there's a destination this uh, target there then it will be the target right we'll remove that so pieces box dot remove element it cool so um let's run it so this time when we move out the night uh, the white rook right the, sh the we cannot see the yeah it's empty now that's great and if we want to count right lock dot d if we print out the piece box stock 
size dot to string okay or we can use something like um, this guy um, like that so we can double check right the original size it should be 32 and after we make our capture it should be 31 right thirty two and the thirty one right that's great um, okay now we can clean up the code here uh, let's leave it here so you guys can play with that and we'll clean up this when we have the real uh, game move okay using our finger on the touch screen thank you for watching see you next time